This is Teresa Wright's birthday. She is really one of the great film actresses of her era. And she did many wonderful films. I'm not sure she did any much better than the one we're about to see right now. It was one she did with Alfred Hitchcock. And everybody knows Alfred Hitchcock was a master filmmaker. But why? Why are his films so much better than many others? For one thing, he had an uncanny ability to imagine an entire film in his head before a single frame was shot. He created each scene the way we're told a great composer creates the movements of a symphony. He saw every element, the actors, the props, the set, the lighting. He saw them separately, but then he wove them together according to his master plan, the one he had worked out long before. Teresa Wright commented on one aspect of this in Shadow of a Doubt, the film we are going to see in just a few moments. She said that he used sound like no one else she had ever known. If, she said, he asked you to put down a teacup, he wanted it to make a precise sound. At a precise moment, he would go over and over again until he got that right, if it took all day. He wanted that sound to be exact. If he asked an actor to drum his fingers, it wasn't just an idle movement. It had to be a specific beat. Every sound you'll hear, whether it's the sound of footsteps or rustling paper or the tearing of an envelope, is carefully orchestrated by Hitchcock for sound. He did the same with the script, fine-tuning the words of the screenwriter to his own precise rhythms. And by the way, the scenario was written by Thornton Wilder. Hitchcock chose him to write this film after seeing Our Town, and you'll see some visual similarities. This is a wonderful film. Joseph Cotton, Teresa Wright, MacDonald Carey, and Alfred Hitchcock's Shadow of a Doubt. 